camp this year has been so much fun. I'm glad to have finally gone to my first in-person, and this time, COVID-free camp. <laughs> I still remember the first, the first day when everyone arrived, awkwardly standing in a circle introducing ourselves, as Jonah confused Ken for Tanoosh. <laughs> There's no Tanoosh at camp this year. <laughs> but so quickly, the awkwardness melted away into friendship and familiarity. On the first day of lab, Vishal learned to not put shards in the trash. <laughs> I watched Bill and Aryan attempt a duo speedrun for turning on a Bunsen burner, and Caden fell asleep in the back. <laughs> At dissections, our eyes watered and noses wrinkled over the smell of formaldehyde, but we eagerly picked through the specimens. And somehow after those dissections, we built up a roaring appetite for food and conversations. Meals became a time to relax, rewind, and get to know one another. In the evenings, I stayed up late, talking into the night with my sweetmates about philosophy and our thoughts for the future, about life after high school with Jonah and Andrew, and about anything else that came onto our minds. We played frisbee on the fields, passing the limits of what Marymount's elevators could hold, <laughs> and smashed open snails with hammers, in a scientific way, of course. As masters of the arts, Bill serenaded us with his Frank Sinatra, Barrett showed everyone his incredible gritty, <laughs> and Michelle spat some fire bars, and y'all finally touched brass on the nature walk. I'm so glad to have gotten to know all of you, and to have grown so close in such a short time. As finals draws to a close, I am so grateful for this opportunity to reflect and remark about my Yusufo journey. And this speech means a lot to me because I've gotten so much out of Yusufo and the CE the past four years. The incredible lectures, advanced biology topics, and hands-on lab experience at this program are truly unparalleled. Whether it was Andrew teaching a college semester's worth of biochem in the span of one lecture, Jonah using RLC circuits to model blood circulation, or Caden's incredible mnemonics involving Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> I think I speak for all of us when I say that these past 12 days have been an incredible wealth of knowledge, learning, and intellectual exploration, instilling a true love for learning in each of us. Nowhere else have I found a group of high schoolers as knowledgeable and curious about biology. I don't think jokes about orphaned apples or primary slippage would land anywhere else, and the enthusiastic atmosphere you created has been infectious. I remember in my first year of camp, just feeling so welcomed by a group of fellow students who share my passion, and I'm so glad to see such eager faces again this year. I've heard this story often among fellow students doing Olympiads. <clears throat> For many of us, Yusubo has been a solitary journey up to this point. For example, it was you, and only you, who decided after reading 30 pages of Vanders that you would choose to persevere through the 31st. It took grit for each of you to face the intimidating challenge of use of vote, to not shy or back away from it, and to devote yourself to hundreds of hours of study. The grit and determination you've all shown to, you've all shown to get here are truly admirable, and will serve you well throughout the rest of high school and in your future endeavors beyond. But I hope that camp has also shown each of us that life is about more than competition. Just like how Ferris taught Michelle how to gritty, we got so much out of learning from each other these past two weeks. Each of you are brilliant and will no doubt go on to do great things. Yet the world's biggest challenges will be solved via collaboration, not in spite of it, just like Dr. Lin said. And I know it's cliche, but I implore each of you to use the talent and dedication you've shown to get here towards making the world a better place. For me, Yusufa has been many things over the years. A competition, a common app activity, but above all, a community. As a wide-eyed freshman, I first heard Michael Zhao give the speech in 2021, and then it was Richard Zhu in 22, and our very own Jonah last year. And just recently, when I was finalizing my college choice, I happened to ask Michael, Richard, and Jonah for their advice and what they thought. And while their biology instruction is undoubtedly top-notch, their life advice has been nothing less. They have been true role models in every sense of the word. So trust me when I say 
that the alumni network is something that will stay with you for years. They will be your closest friends, people to laugh with, people to look up to, and shoulders to lean on. And I think that is the most important thing that I've gotten out of camp. It's not the lectures, it's not the medals, and it's not the accolades. It's been a glimpse into the incredibly amazing things that all you finalists do, and a greater world much larger than what my high school life would have been otherwise. I've heard this adage, and to me it's never lost its truth. Show me your friends, and I will tell you who you are. Look at your fellow finalists around you. You'll find 19 other young scientists who are just as brilliant, dedicated, and passionate about biology as you are, and who will encourage you to develop and push yourself. Grit and the people you surround yourself with will take you farther in life than you can possibly imagine. Across state lines and time zones, we were brought here together for 12 days. And in many ways, we each traveled long and worked hard together.